This is the first e-bike that I know that could do wheelies. Holy crap, is this fun. Are you looking for a powerful, portable, foldable e-bike with incredible specs? Well, this is the Hovsco Hub Beta, and in this video, we're gonna learn all about it. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about and test ride the Hovsco Hub Beta e-bike and hopefully this video will help you determine if this is the right e-bike for you. Before we take it for a ride though, let's talk about some of the incredible features that are offered on the Hub Beta. The Hub Beta does come in two colors. This is the red color which is a really bright, vibrant red color. Also comes in a dark purple as well. Now this bike itself is on the lighter side, it weighs only 66 pounds, so it's not a very heavy bike to lift. It's on the lighter side of e-bikes. Starting up in the top here, we do have your handlebars with locking rubber grips. Front and rear hydraulic disc brakes, so you will have great stopping power. Seven speed Shimano gear system. The grips do feel comfortable. They do have the padded fins there for added comfort for longer rides. Left hand side here, you will find your throttle control. It's a thumb lever, four button control module, Plus and minus for your pedal assist, a dedicated headlight button, and your power button, long press on and off. In the center here, you'll find your large, colorful LCD screen. On there, it will display your battery output, pedal assist mode, speedometer, trip, and odometer. In front of that is a smaller headlight. There is no bell included on this bike. Below that, you will have a latch to control the height of your handlebars. So you can have them as short or as high as you need to. Down below that is another lever. You unlock that, and that allows you to fold the handlebars down for transport. As you make your way even further down, you do have your front fork suspension, which is adjustable. Coming down below, we do have fenders. Now, fenders do not come standard, but they are an optional accessory as well as a front basket and a rear rack but they did send the plastic fenders to show what they do look like, which do help add in protection of stones and mud getting kicked up on you when you're riding. It does have front and rear 20 by four inch wide fat tires. As we come to the frame here, you do have your key slot that allows you to unlock the battery. And when you remove that, you will have your Samsung LED 48 volt battery system. And like all their Hufsco e-bikes, this is also an LED light bar, so you have an added light source when taking your bike anywhere you go, daytime or nighttime. As you can, three, as you can see, it is a step-through design, which makes it super simple and easy to get on and off the bike. No longer need to lift your leg up and over. Coming down to the center, we do have foldable pedals, which do make it even more compact when traveling. Come up to the seat here. The seat is adjustable, of course, and it's a nice wide seat and we will test comfort during the test ride. The one thing I do like is beneath it, there is a handle which helps you pick it up to maneuver it around or for lifting it when transporting. Coming to the rear here, another rear fender, a chain guard, kickstand, but let's talk about some of the more impressive features because that's what we're all here for right now. So this is my second bike I'm reviewing by Hufsco. I've also reviewed the Huff Alpha Step-Through e-bike. It's a much larger bike. And the one thing I discovered accidentally while reviewing that bike, it actually has a torque sensor. And I didn't realize it until I started riding it. I'm like, holy crap, this is a whole new experience of riding an e-bike. So in case you're wondering, what's a torque sensor? Well, traditionally on most e-bikes, at least the ones I reviewed, the way it works is there's a motion sensor. So when you start pedaling, the motor kicks in and goes basically full output when you're pedaling. You can't really control the sensitivity of it 
of it other than your pedal assist modes. With a torque sensor, it only matches the power that you're putting into the pedals. So if you're pedaling very light, it gives you very light power. If you're needing to climb a hill or gain speed super fast, you could just start pedaling harder and the motor will match that power. So you have ultimate control over the output of the motor when using the spikes. So it's gonna be really safe to ride, really controllable. It's not gonna get away on you or feel like you are gonna be going too fast, too soon or anything like that. You have ultimate control with a torque sensor design. The next great thing is despite the size of the spike and weighing only 66 pounds, it can handle an impressive payload of up to 450 pounds. So if you're a taller individual or a heavier individual, this bike can most likely handle a frame of your size. Let's talk about range. Now, of course, range is dependent on the rider's size and the terrain, but it's estimated that on throttle only, that means no pedaling whatsoever, up to 40 miles throttle alone. If you wanna do pedal assist, up to 60 miles. Those are some pretty impressive numbers. A lot of other e-bikes only get 40 miles on pedal assist. So to go 40 miles plus is a respectable number. Now in just a moment, we're gonna fold it up, pack it into the car and take it for a test ride. After that, I'm gonna share with you the good and not so good things regarding the Hub Beta and also how much it's listed for and how you can get one for yourself. things first let's do a zero to top speed throttle only here we go 10 this accelerates fast 15 20 21 so it has a, a limiter caps out at 21 let's do a braking test wow those are some responsive brakes okay Get up and go is incredible. Braking power is even more impressive. You know, this has so much torque. I bet you could probably do a wheelie on it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a torquey little monster. Small but mighty. Holy crap. I bet I can almost ride a wheelie on this thing. Yeah, you can ride a little wheelie. Wow. 750 watt motor on a little bike like this. That's a lot of fun. All right, let's uh, go to pedal assist two. Let's shift some gears here. So right now I'm just pedaling lightly and the motor is just barely matching my power, which is just perfect. Now, if I start pedaling harder, the motor kicks in more power. I love the torque sensor feature on these bikes. It's almost uncomparable to the more traditional standard e-bikes where it's just all or nothing. I do wish this had a bell or horn. That is something that I'm not liking, so can't really let others know that you're coming. Unless you shout, hey, move out of the way. Also a power meter on here too, so it actually shows how much power is being outputted from the motor. Now I'm in gear seven. I'm gonna put it in pedal assist five and we're gonna see what this could do. Okay, so it's still topped out at 21, but it got up there really quick. The other feature I like regarding the torque sensor is that I could be in pedal assist five and it's not getting out of control. I'm only pedaling lightly, so it's giving me light output. But if I need that extra power, it's there. It gets up and goes like, like a bat out of you know what. So if I was to ride this bike regularly, I'd probably keep it in pedal assist five because there's no real need to switch between one through five because 
it's going to give you the output based on your pedaling, not based on the motor output. I will say cruising around though is nice. This is probably the fastest accelerating bike I've reviewed. This is a speedy, torquey little monster. So one-handed, nice and stable, no issues at all. No hands, no shimmies, no wobbles, no wiggles. It's a stable bike. Little trail here, let's see how the suspension does. It's pretty smooth. With most of these fat tire e-bikes, it's obviously a more comfortable ride due to those tires, but the added suspension makes it even better. And again, I'm pedaling nice and easy. I'm going nine miles an hour. I'm in pedal assist five, where on a regular e-bike, I'd be going over 20 right now, regardless of how slow I was pedaling. So I'm just kind of emphasizing the torque sensor is something that you almost need to have once you realize how enjoyable it is to use. Now, say you uh, encounter a swarm of bees or a hungry bear in the woods and it's coming up behind you and you need to get away in a hurry and you don't have to worry about switching between gears and pedal assist mode. Well, just start pedaling faster and the motor will keep up with you. And instantly, you're at 20 miles an hour. And you can even cruise throttle only on these trails. Really nice. As for the seat, out of my five-star rating, I'll give this one a four. It's wide, it's comfortable. I don't know how it is for super long distance rides, but so far it's a comfortable seat. I'm not finding myself trying to reposition and get more comfortable. It's a nice all-around good seat that's included with this bike. So I give it a four out of five stars. So I do have a few good and not so good things I want to share regarding the hub beta. So I'm going to start with the cons first, the negatives. Namely, the headlight. Headlight, it'll allow people to see that you're coming, but it won't allow you to see where you're going. It's pretty dim, not really bright. It's not going to show a whole lot of luminance. So if you're a nighttime rider, I would definitely opt for a handlebar mounted headlight. There's no horn or bell. Now the other hub scope bike I reviewed also didn't include one. I'm hoping they would implement that down the road with other models or in the future because it's almost a necessity. When I was riding on this trail doing this video, I came upon people, you know, frequently and normally I like to alert them that I'm coming so I don't startle them, especially if they have pets. Well, I had no way, heard a rustle in the woods. I had no way to do that other than like on your left, on your right, or just going as far as I could to give them a lot of space. So you're gonna wanna pick up a bell for yourself. I mean, they're cheap. I bought a bell for my other bike. It was on Amazon for like maybe $7. Just mounts on with a Phillips screwdriver, but I think they should include a bell or a horn with their bikes. There is no brake light. I mean, that's not a, a deal breaker for me. It's nice to have one, but it does have the battery powered tail light. So at least when you're riding at nighttime, people can see you, the light is on. It is sufficient enough that people can know that you're on the road or on the sidewalk. For the good, and there's more good than I can actually list, I'm just gonna go over the top ones. Number one, I didn't know this thing could even do wheelies. This thing is so surprising, so torquey. I mean, 750 watts on a 66 pound bike with this short of frame, it's a torquey monster. I mean, this is gonna be able to climb hills. 
it accelerates super fast, it almost kind of throws you back. And if you're not sitting a little bit forward, the front wheel does come up a little bit when you juice it. So more than the torque that you're gonna need, I could see why I could handle a payload up to 450 pounds. It is nice, it does have optional accessories such as a rack, basket, and fenders. And it just is a good looking bike. Red is a nice color. I'm not a red person by nature, but this shade of red I do like. The dark purple is good, but it's on a darker, darker color. It doesn't shine as bright. This one is bright and vibrant, will get people's attention. So with that being said, I first want to thank Huffsco for sending this out to me and be able to share it with all of you. If you do want to get more information or check it out for yourself, there will be links provided down below. As of the making this video, it is retailing for $1,499 but you can always check on those links to see if there are running any promotions, coupons, or discounts. But now, at the end of this video, hopefully you should know if the Huffsco Hub Beta is the right bike for you. With that being said, safe riding everyone, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.